On 9-11, I was working at 90 Broad Street um, by Bowling Green area. I saw this plane go like right over me so low and it hit the towers. Everything was black. Everything, I'm on the 14th floor. I couldn't see the building in front of me. You know, we were all crying. We were all, you know, devastated. We, we couldn't reach our families. You know, we didn't know where our other staff members were. And we were just seeing the people in this cloud of dust just walking by in the streets. And we're like, oh my God, how could they even see? And we're going to have to walk out in that too? I'm thinking, oh my God, there's so many people. I mean, what precautions are they using, you know, to get us all out there safely? They had advised us that there are no more masks, but to please um, take a paper towel and... Um, cover your face. And I walked over the Brooklyn Bridge and I remember, you know, how scared I was. We were all very scared because we're up in the bridge, we're looking at the sky, not, not knowing, you know, what else is going to happen. And we're looking over by the Statue of Liberty and, and we just see this black cloud. I got this cough that I couldn't get rid of, this obnoxious cough, which made my life pretty miserable. Nothing was working. Nobody controlled this obnoxious cough that was making my back hurt, that was hurting my chest, hurting my throat, killing my, you know, my head. I had these horrible headaches. So I was just thinking, oh my God, I'm going to die. What is wrong with me? Nobody can help me. What is going to, you know, what's going on? So finally I went to Bellevue Hospital and they have been taking care of me ever since. And thank God for them that they have were the only ones that were able to keep my asthma under control because I have chronic asthma, allergy asthma. I have right, um, of chronic sinus inflammation. I've had um, cardiac sarcoidosis. I've had three surgeries so far, a pacemaker and defibrillator. Oh, I count my blessings and it's still a struggle. It's, um, it's still a journey, as I say. And um, um, every day I just thank God that I, I can still live another day. But um, my experiences have made me realize just how much for granted, you know, I've taken my health. I wish I'm, I'm just a mere shadow of the person I used to be.